Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. I'm Rich Cole. This is Hunter Barrington. You've already met Hunter. Hunter's looking for the young people. <laughs> it's like, dude. I can't say that. I'm saying all this. Um, I'm not a technologist. Uh, Debatable is whether I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm, I'm a communicator. So this is why I have Hunter here today, because any question that gets to in the weeds, I'm just going to be like, Hunter, you can answer this one. Um, I have been in PR, uh, really my entire career, PR and communications. My uh, first agency was called Loud with the Words. Currently, uh, my consultancy is called Communicate Good. I work with nonprofits, with foundations, with social entrepreneurs. Um, let me ask you a question. Uh, think to yourself, is there somebody that you know of that is making a difference in the world that you would really love to tell people about? It could be a coworker. it could be somebody you serve on the board with, it could be an employee, a friend, anybody. So just think about that for a second. I'm curious, raise your hand if you actually, if someone comes to mind, somebody that is a do-gooder, making a difference. Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> really? Come on, hold those hands up high. I'm really curious. Okay, all right. What's their name? Just tell me their name. Uh, Frank Reed. Okay. I mean, there's, there's a lot of power, I believe, in being able Amen. to share the work that somebody's doing with other people. You know, we talk about getting money, we talk about getting resources. I'm a communicator, and I just think there's power in spreading the word. So uh, about two years ago, I started this program. It was called Talking Good, and it was nothing more than a glorified interview on my blog. I said, I want to begin showcasing people who I believe are making a difference, doing good in the world, some cool content for my site, buried up a little bit. I didn't really want to just write blogs every couple of weeks. Um, and I began to do these interviews. I went to people who I knew that were doing things. Obviously, I had a lot of contacts given the work that I do. Started doing that. And then, a couple of weeks, well, months later, somebody said, hey, Rich, you should feature so-and-so. I was like, wow, wow, I can crowdsource. So I began crowdsourcing the names. And what was really cool was once I started crowdsourcing, the, the what I call inspiration factor began to grow. I was now drawing from multiple sources. So I continued doing these interviews, and then what happened was somebody once said to me, hey, could we run the interview that you just did? You know, I was writing the intros, we were doing the interviews. It's like, yeah, sure, you know, let's, let's spread the word a little bit more. Well, long story short, what began to happen in, in just over about 16 months was that multiple people began to cover the stories. We almost created a little bit of a syndication network so that now when we run these, Christian Science Monitor picks them up. Huffington Post Impact will pick this up. City Business, Baltimore, they will do it. Um, a ton of uh, do good blogs will run these things. So we created this thing. It was great. But about I don't know, seven months ago, I said, you know what, I've got a bit of a problem here. I'm just kind of doing this one a week. Every time I do it, it disappears down my blog, it disappears. I really need to take this to the next level. That's where I reached out to Hunter. He was introduced to me. I said, what can we do on the technology side, and this is kind of my segue into technology, how can we create something that will allow us to present these people in a more effective manner so that we really are showcasing the people, they don't get lost the next week when I put the next person up, um, something that allows and empowers anybody else to nominate, suggest people who are doing good, gives people the tools to recognize. And so we're going to be watching this next week, so Hunter, why don't you just yeah, absolutely. Can everybody hear me all right? Yep. All right, great. Um, so, you know, I love Rich's vision and what he was going for, and we really wanted to take the people who are doing this amazing work and make them front and center. Um, so we, we created this landing page, uh, this the front page. So we've got this montage of faces um, and great people who are doing great work. Um, on hunger, you can see a little bit about what they're working on, uh, education, hunger, um, and, and get a little bit of an idea of, you know, um, who's on the site currently being featured. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into one of these profiles. They have the opportunity to, you know, give them uh, a, a purpose, a, you know, a short Twitter-like phrase saying, you know, this is this is what I believe is uh, one of the most important things, um, you know, about my life. 
they associate themselves with a particular cause, youth social change here. Um, they have a profile picture. And uh, there's a write-up there that uh, you know, um, Rich has put together, uh, as well as the 10 questions that he was talking about before. Right? So they, they get an opportunity to kind of talk about their life and um, you know, why they do the work that they do and some of the things that um, you know, they, they've encountered as they've been doing it. They have an opportunity to put up some organizational links, a little bit of information about you know, um, what they've been doing, where and how other people can be connected. Um, and you see some suggested profiles on the bottom. Lastly, uh, we're not lastly, second to last, we, we put together this nomination page, right? So we have this nice landing page, it's pretty attractive. Um, this is actually a photo of, of one of the people who've actually been uh, featured uh, with a pretty straightforward form here. Uh, so you can just click through, and it's, it's wicked simple to just put together uh, a nomination. If you've got somebody in mind who you would love to you know, have their work recognized, you can do it pretty quickly uh, and easily. There's you know, maybe three or four questions they have to get through before uh, they get a uh, an invitation. Lastly, we have the actual um, profile assignment page, right? So if, if you were to get nominated, you know, somebody thinks that the work that you're doing in your neighborhood is, is absolutely amazing. Um, you get a form that looks like this. Uh, it takes, you know, somewhere between two and five minutes to fill out. Not too long, but um, you know, there's some opportunity to, to really share about yourself and let other people know what you're doing. Um, Rich reviews all of the pro uh, profiles and nominations before they go up. Uh, it gives them some opportunity to actually um, you know, decide who should be featured and, and what kind of content, give some feedback actually on that content that you provided. Anything else? Thank you. Um, so, you know, this is a program that we've created. We've got some ambitious goals for 2014. We want to scale this. I would love to go from 70 to 700 profiles. We want to create some incentives and some sponsorship programs and all kinds of things to really make the, pro the program itself bolder. Now, I think Coming into this today, this is a technology forum, and I've seen a number of these, and I began to think, well, everybody's going to be thinking, okay, that's a program, what are the applications of the technology? And that is something that has really evolved over the last couple of months, begin thinking about what is this technology allowing us to do better that has applications elsewhere? And, you know, this could be part of the conversation right here, but, um, you know, as we build out this program, you got to think, well, what we're really creating here is an amazing tool to showcase people, to create communities, to leverage social media. You know, I am kind of the ideal customer for this kind of technology. How can I create a community in an engaging way, in a quick and easy way? I saw this this, this past week, and I just wanted to put this out there for food for thought. Everybody's familiar with BBJ 40 under 40, right? Yeah. yeah. So they just put out this beautiful uh, insert, and you see right here throughout, they do something very similar, right? It's featuring people, it's asking questions. If you go to the web page, BBJ doesn't have really any way to present this information in a manner that's engaging like this. It's just kind of static photos that you can scroll through. So this is another area where I begin to think about, okay, Talking Good is a program is wonderful, we're gonna be developing this, but where else can we use this technology uh, moving forward? So. Probably in seven minutes, so at this point, I'm just going to get done. I will ask it down. Great. It's not a good one, but uh, Mike, I mean, uh, Dan Brenner, on the other hand. Some people are talking about Okay, um, all right, so, so, so basically, maybe talk to a little bit, a little bit I'm, I'm curious about sort of like the vision and the model. So I understand that this is sort of like a, a, a way to basically view profiles of people nominated by the community for. In this case, doing good, but maybe it might be for other things that they're being validated for. Um, is there is there like a business model behind it? Right. So maybe talk about that next. Sure. So uh, the quick and easy answer is I did not begin this with the idea of making a profit or the business model. Um, I just started to build this because I said I want a better way of showcasing these people, trying to create greater impact in doing it. You know, you, maybe it's because I've been doing so much work in the philanthropic world, but I was focused more on how can I help these people that I'm featuring. Um, when I began to think through uh, how to use technology to enable that, the reality became that we need to support that effort, right? the developing costs associated with it. So that was when I began to think about how can I sustain Talking Good. And to sustain this program, it's really going to become a sponsorship thing at this point. And I you know, don't want to talk about that or make that the pitch here if people want to talk about sponsorships and so forth after I'd be 
delighted to talk about those kinds of things. Um, I think the real business model application comes from how can you take the technology itself and apply it to specific campaigns for other companies, organizations, and so forth that want to do something similarly. So for example, the college that is going to be showcasing alumni who have you know, made annual gifts. You get that publication that just lists all those names. Is there a way to showcase alumni in a more engaging and interesting manner that really creates incentives for other people to give, that showcases who those alums are? Um, the company that wants to recognize its employees in a more engaging and interesting manner. You know, not the 50-person company, but the 1,000-person company. Um, there's so many applications for this kind of technology. Um, so, and, and I don't have the, uh, the business model down to the numbers yet. Okay, questions? Comments? Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, I, I just have some really quick comment. I, you know, I really love this, and I think what this really is is kind of a mind shift, what you're really being a catalyst for, um, a positivity of people focusing more on the positive rather than the negative. And I, I just see a lot of uh, opportunity uh, in that. So, um, thank you. Thank you. All right. Good. Yeah. How's it coming? All right. So you have the site. How does anybody know about it? What's your marketing plan for this thing? And I'm not a marketer. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, frankly, at this point, like everything else associated with this, this program, it's been grassroots. Right? I, haven't, I haven't really talked about this with anybody yet. This is the first time that I've been doing it. And so what I want to be doing in 2014 is just quite organically getting out, talking about the power of recognition uh, more to groups like this, getting people to nominate. Getting from 70 to 700 people should not be that difficult if everybody in this room were to go back and nominate one person that they think is going to be making a difference. I'm going to be writing about it some more. And then the power of social media. I mean, Hunter has created a site that intuitively or immediately allows you to share these profiles that you see. We want to create something called an inspiration factor. So we essentially create a built-in ranking mechanism so that some of the more inspiring profiles rise to the surface and then we'll be coming out. I'm sure people are familiar with Upworthy here. People like to share inspiring content. So, All right, great job. Thank you.